Okay guys, um, welcome to another Block Tech Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to actually change out the screen of this particular device. I'll put the full name on screen, but it's a Doogie device. I'll, as I said before, I'll specify the model number on screen. So I'm going to go right into this assembly. So the first thing that you want to do um, straight off the bat is just simply, well, I could just give you a run over. The screen is broken. It's not working. So I'm just going to give you a quick one over and show you how to actually go about changing the screen. So as you see the back of the device here, I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. Normally you look for the um, tab on the back, see here at the top. Alright, as you do that, you're just going to remove the battery. That side, um, in case you want to know which um, version is this, it's the Dagger DG5500. 55, are the DG550 that's Dagger D A G G R. Thought it was Doogie, but it's actually Dagger, right? Sorry about that. So, the first thing you want to do here is get your screwdriver and you just remove the screws. I might skip this out in the interest of time. So, I'm remove all of these screws. Yeah, sorry about the background noise. I have some uh, rain, but I hope you guys um, still hear me. So, um, as soon as you start working, just remove this tab at the top here, it should slide right off, right? Um, the next thing that you want to actually do is to actually find the seams around, along here. So there are areas there that are just going to separate, so, sorry, you're just going to get into the seams or into the grooves. Use your fingers, they should come apart, you should not be able to force them, they should just separate quite, um, quite easily, so. Let's get into there and actually get it along the edges here. Just make sure that you remove all the screws and separate the bottom section here as well. So there are two parts that come off. That's the lower section here, it should snap right off. And the upper section. Oh, and I've missed um, two screws down here. You have to watch out for them as soon as the lower section is removed. Just watch out for the lower screws and remove these. So once those lower screws come out, you're just going to remove it, it should come right off. So remember, snap off um, the upper and lower sections, then remove the screws. Alright, you want to be careful in here, you don't want to um, damage any of the components as you can see here on the circuit board up there. Um, the screen that you need is actually behind here, so if you look very carefully, you'll notice the screen is just behind, behind here. Alright, I'm going to get to that in a minute. So, in the meanwhile, You can see too, the digitizer, which is the front section, is able to actually move. Um, just be careful as there's a connector out there. It's connected on the underside of the board. You don't want to damage that. So just be extra careful with that. And as you're going along here, just, um, we're going to go into the other part of this assembly. So we're going to remove this screw right here carefully and with these phones it's easy to actually um, disassemble them all you have to do is just be careful see what goes where and make sure you don't force anything apart while you're going through all right these screws are very tiny so I'd advise that you be extra careful with them all right let's look out for any others that are um, scattered throughout the board and and carefully go through. Here we go. And I'm just gonna disconnect the camera. The camera comes right off. There's a few things to watch out for. Number one, um, these um, side buttons here, they'll just slip right up. Later on, we'll just slide them back into place. They're actually the buttons for up and down. I uh, think it's volume up and down. Over here, this is a connector for the board that connects it. This on the underside, and this one is connected also on the underside. So what you want to do with these, you want to flip them up. So for this one, you're gonna flip using something like I'm using here, this um, four set looks looking thing. You're actually gonna flip up from this side. And it's gonna um, the notch is gonna flip up. When that happens, this section will just um, be released. So as you can see here, it will come right out. Over here again, I'll do the same thing again. So just pick it carefully from this side to um, lift. Oh, so as you can see 
this is actually movable so it lifts up and once it lifts up you carefully using something like what i'm using here to separate all right so you'll see now that the main part of the circuit board up here uh, will come right off all right so as you can see here it's lifting quite fine also there's about three screws here so there should be one over here somewhere one up there as you have seen before and you might miss one over here so just watch out for extra screws that are separate um throughout the board all right so now that this is separating just want to make sure that i didn't miss any screws oh and of course you gotta watch out for additional connections like on the underside of the board for example as you see there um this connector is connected um flip side and this one is connected for the lower side down here this could snap right off you could also snap this off but i don't want to make any unnecessary disconnection so what i'm going to do here again is i'm going to actually um to see if the screen will come out right now simply without um separating this entire thing all right so here's the screen this is the digitizer for touch and this is the screen itself as you can see here it slides right off all right so as you can see this is the screen Side. so let's assume that this is the new screen so you're gonna slide this back into place make sure whatever screen you're um, thinking that you match the part number make sure it is um, compatible all right so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put this back into place so to do that I'd have to put this on the underside or the other side of this um, board so carefully I'm gonna slide this back into place Right. And I'm going to slide the display connector back through its hole over here. I probably have to do this off screen. I'll come back, I'll show you what I did. Things easier. So, separate everything and slide the LCD display in first. So, that should slide right in. So, the connector is now on the back of the, the back end of the board. Um, slip through next thing you want to do is make sure um, this section here slides right into this part right here and carefully slide this back into place all right so beneath this as you can see here that's on all right and then the tinted section here is going to come on top here like this all right so once that is in place i'm going to make the connections on this end so as you can see here we connect here and here so once the screen is set back into place so the display itself and the digitizer on top then we're just going to reverse the process and reassemble all right so i'm going to slide this back over here So that's going to connect here. This one is going to align with the button over here. Make sure that that's on the Honda side or the flip side. Make sure that's lift. Okay. Then carefully reattach. Okay, use the forceps.
there you go so as you can see here now everything is falling back into place I have um, reassembled all the main parts We're going to put the screws back in. Alright, so once those are in, next we're going to put the back cover on over the camera lens. Slap that back into place. Basically from here you can, um, if you wanted to do some tests, like to check if the screen was working, this is where you'd actually do it. You don't want to actually assemble the entire phone and then find out it's not working. It's easier to disassemble from this point. So what I'm going to actually recommend is you um, pop the battery back in and do a quick test now. If anything you can disassemble. Um, as I said before, with this older screen here, or this thing that I took out. Uh, so if you had a problem like this, you can just stay out. So, 